Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Gundam Universe Double O Riser. As you can see here it is in the... I've got it out right now. And here's the box it comes in. No, I'm just going to get this out of the way. Make it easier to show the box. There's not much in here. I've taken out all the accessories except the adapters for the flight stand or the Tamashi Nations thing that works with it. So, take a look at the figure itself. Here it is. It's combined with the O-Riser. So, you can separate these. It's just as easy as just pulling the stuff off. Um, it's on there pretty tight. Uh, uh. This up. And then putting these in here. You don't need to like flip up anything on the sides like you do with the Model kit, or even the Metal Robot Damashi. These are articulated, which is neat. I like how they retain that. Uh, you can't move this blue part. However, you can just put these back on. Uh, it does come with these two uh, sword gun thingies. Uh, you can turn it to a sword like this. Just turn it around. You don't need to like take out the sword. But it does come out. Then what I'm going to do I'm just going to put the stuff back on. Alright, so I put the stuff back on and put the gun thingy back in here. We're really like how it looks combined. Definitely one of the coolest and toughest looking mobile suits in any Gundam series. Or there's a, we'll address my biggest concern with this right away is that these joints for the sort of wing things on the side sort of floppy like you can get it down to about here but even here it doesn't feel very tight I'm not sure how to even tighten this up because it looks like uh, this gray piece is glued in. It is sort of soft lock when I put them like this, which is pretty awesome, but I wish there was sort of more range between here and here. But even though this is the furthest out they can go without putting them up very high. Still looks very cool. Like the additional panel lines here, like on the knees, you should probably, I guess I should fill this in with a panel line marker to bring these out more, then the color separation in the mouth plate, you got the nice gray around the mouth plate.
It's for the articulation. Take this out. Uh, seems uh, it's double jointed, but looks like it can. It's the way it is. It's sculpted. The arm only bends 90 degrees. You got bicep rotation. I'm just going to go leg. Out. Up and out. Uh, got a bit of ab rotate articulation here. Um, can't seem to get the waist to rotate. I don't know why. Uh, you can pull the legs down more. You can go up, out. Uh, there's some swivel at the upper part of the thigh, but it fortunately comes out of the ball point, ball joint really easily. Unfortunately, you don't get much with the knee 90 degrees, just like the elbows. Uh, legs are on a ball joint. So you can sir, go. So it could move in all directions, technically. And uh, this, yeah, the piece here moves up and down. So you can probably get more tilt out of it. Yeah, so, oh no, yeah, very cool looking Gundam Universe figure, got the Double O Gundam has great, actually, okay articulation, uh, it is, it is the elbows and knees aren't quite, have as much degree of movement as I'm used to seeing in other Gundam figures like the model kits don't like the floppy uh, joint for the wing things on the side but they still look cool and this is still a very cool looking Gundam Universe figure with decent articulation Please like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for my review. Bye.